today's video, we get a lot of questions about is how to set up the wing once you buy it. So today we're gonna to go over how to set up the wing on the back of the car. The way we like to set the wings up is with the smart level. So with the smart level, you wanna alternate zero the level on the car because this car has about an inch of rake front to rear, so it's not truly level with the ground. So what we do is we put them on the rocker panel and we alternate zero the level. And that means that it assumes that this plane is level now. So then you get you a nice straight piece of aluminum or metal, something lightweight but, but strong that's perfectly straight. Okay, so now you want to take your straight edge and you want to lay it across your wing. And you want the straight edge to touch the back of the wing and the front of the wing. It doesn't really matter if it hangs off or not. It just needs to solidly contact the front and the rear. Then, put your level on it. And you read what okay, your level so now says. now we've got our straight edge and our level. We're looking at the wing is at 4.3 degrees right now. So then, you're going to break your lock nuts loose. And then we're going to just turn the wing both at the same time until we get to 5 degrees. And there it is. Then we're going to spin our lock nuts back down and lock the wing down. Now you don't need to get these really tight. These lock nuts, they don't need to be super tight. All right, check your measurement. We're at five degrees, so we're good to go. Now, if for some reason you don't have a smart level, they have the iPhone apps that use that have the level. And you can also use a bubble level. And the where you want it on the bubble level is the bubble to be halfway on the first mark is like a good starting point. But really you need a digital level to make this really work. Thanks.